Thriller City. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You might need a theme song for your shit. Check this out. Hey, Turn it out loud. Let this shit seep in. JackThriller.com. We creep in. Snoop Dogg to the left. Jack Thriller to the right. JackThriller.com. Do it all night. Hit the website. Hit us up real quick. If you're trying to get hooked up with a bad super bitch. And we back, man. Hey, yo, I'm really excited about this episode right here, man. I got some real, a really, really, really special guy in here tonight. Yes, or daytime, or wherever you are, this is New Jack Thriller City, man. But, but first, before we get this show started, I got to give a shout out to, you know what I'm saying, 85 South Channel, 85, you know, our sponsors. Um, also, I got to introduce y'all to, you know what I'm saying, my co host for the day, man, the people that's helping me co pilot this vessel. Hey, first off, we're going to start with the ladies. Yo, the lady, she has a, a wonderful podcast, it's a relationship podcast. She know her shit, you know what I'm saying, and one thing about it, Y'all give it up for the beautiful, sexy, talented uh, 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 Amani Talks. Let's go. Hey, hey. All right. The next lady, oh, she owns her own radio station, man, uh, uh, TKO Radio. Come on now. You know, I went on her show, and I've been wild upside down. She know her shit from backwards to forwards, side to side, and uh, yeah. It was like comparing him to Andre 3000, saying he was the next Andre 3000. That's how good he rap, he MC. You know, uh, my friend, your friend, man, Mr. Bobby Ray B.O.B. Let's go. Yeah. Hey, man, before we get started, hey, um, yo, I got to see everybody's school clothes. Uh, Amani, show me your school clothes. Body to Amazon. <laughs> And then my favorite boots, these are some platform Versace boots. You gotta go with your expensive ass. All right. <laughs> Yo, Chelsea, what you got on, man? Well, Show me your school clothes. Ooh. Okay, y'all. So, this is a top with H&M. Damn. Pants from H&M. Okay. And the boots are from an online website, Wholesale Fashion Shoes, $10 Shoes, Super. Oh, you did that? <laughs> what the new people be saying? You put that shit I on. Put that shit on. Yeah, that's oh, what they be saying. <laughs> hey, <laughs> and you know this nigga about to show out, man. Y'all put it on. Pl- Come yo, on. Pl- let's play, boy. Show him. I came, I came a little drippy today, but not too drippy. Uh, we're gonna start from the bottom. Can you see it's reading down there? There's some Christian Louis here. It's low top. Yeah. 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 Uh, I got the purple jeans on, tag still showing like. Yeah. 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 He gonna take them back. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you know, that's what they're doing. Okay. I didn't want to put you down. I'm 41. Uh, I'm 41. Uh, he's your uncle. I'm, I'm a good one. Let me get you some of these. This is uh, the Gap Sweatshirt. With the, uh, the Yeezy Edition uh, Limited. Okay. Maybe like, how many of these you made out? Not too many of them. He got fired from Gap. Soon as he got hot. <laughs> <laughs> but I got one of them. You got one of them. No, 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 no. These are uh, Tiffany. Sorry, I got a Tiffany. I'm going to get my boy over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Show him your school clothes, man. <laughs> yeah. 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 Damn. There he from Decatur. You know what I'm saying? Is some uh, these some fresh air ones. Okay, okay. These right here some wouldn't you like to know? Okay. Oh. Oh. And it's just a custom scarf I got from uh, from the dude fly store. That's <laughs> it. <laughs> Rush it up. Yo, B.O.B., man, what you been up to, bro? Man, I've been uh, DJing, been getting into real estate, been working on a book, uh, finna start teaching classes. I'm doing a lot of shit, man. What do you mean you finna start teaching classes? Oh, hold on, what's going on for right now? <laughs> you know, I'm, uh, you got that much money. You going back, that's what you're doing. <laughs> I signed to give back. <laughs> I, I, I did hear uh, Mike Tyson say that after you know what I'm saying you done did everything. It's time to teach. Yeah, I mean, I I I feel like with teaching is something that like it kind of has to be there for you. Like I don't feel like I don't feel like it's something you can really try to do. I feel like it's it's just gotta naturally kind of be something that you. 
I guess like that people kind of come to you for. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And and so I just I don't know. It's like it's not really. It's just kind of who I am. You know what I'm saying? Like whenever I run into artists, like up and coming artists and new artists that are, I guess where I was or somewhere that I could have been. You know, I feel like I could help them navigate the game a little bit. But like, you know, it's like. It's not what it was, cause like I came out in, in during the MySpace era, you know what I'm saying. So it's like mm-hmm. it's only so far you can really advise, you know what I'm saying, the 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 next generation. So I just feel like I kind of try to stick to like the shit that don't change, you know what I'm saying. And what doesn't change? Shit, uh, being fly. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and the fashions change, but whatever fashion. <laughs> Whatever's popping in your era, you better goddamn tap in. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. Fucking. Well, I'm, I'm gonna tell you what. I'm gonna tell you what is not. What don't matter now that that used to matter. I guess. Um, it used to matter if your song sounded like a certain time period. Like you couldn't sound like two thousands or like mm-hmm. like the white tee movement. You couldn't sound like. You know what I'm saying? Like you couldn't sound dated. Now it don't matter. You can sound like 80s, 90s, 2000s. You can sound like Pluto. You can sound like you can sound like another artist. You can sound like Michael Jackson. You can sound like you know what I'm saying? It, it's a, it's a very um, confusing time, Bill. Big. How's your R&B career going, by the way? I want to ask you about that. I know you, you want to. I know you been wanting to. Jump into that, man. What's up, man? Where are we getting the bro, album? I'm, I'm waiting. No, you the like. You know where are we getting the album, bro? What's up? Can I get a feature? <laughs> Can I get a feature? Hey, <laughs> if I gotta, I'm, I'm, I want to feature on some R&B shit. Doing some R&B shit. <laughs> I just happen to have some R&B shit. That'd be perfect <laughs> for you, nigga. I thank you for bringing this up. Yes, I am definitely working on the gospel sex symbol album right now. Yo, the gospel. <laughs> sex symbol. Yes, <laughs> just finished mattress on the floor. Oh, um, yes. Yeah, yeah, man. Oh, I got I did got I got like about five songs with RL. Man, RL man helped me, you know what I'm saying, compose uh, uh my shit, write my stuff and everything. And um he just showed me how to be less vulgar <laughs> and more R and B. And what <laughs> that's that's crazy. You remember. Hey man, I man, come on, bro, you know. That's my friend. Paying attention sometimes. <laughs> we from Decatur. We from Decatur. Hey man, t- dog, we was just talking about this just before you had a, got on to, uh, uh, but I, and I don't want to double back. Man, <laughs> can you tell these niggas that Decatur is Atlanta, bro? Dec- Decatur is Atlanta, but like, Decatur is Decatur, man. Like Decatur is, like Decatur. Decatur is like the city that like niggas didn't think would go pro, but did. <laughs> <laughs> I like what you're doing right now. Yeah, man. Even trying okay. to shade and cater, like, you know what I'm saying? Even the whole east side, like, niggas trying, like, we ain't bring y'all, yeah. like, Childish Gambino and, like, do that again. Glenn, Glenn, uh, fucking Crime Mob, do that Outcast. Again. Like, come on, man. Like, you don't even play, like, play with us. Let's go on. Yeah. Few? Let's go on. Come on, uh, Few. Drillville. Mm-hmm. Come on, man. Yes. Hey, all right, don't get me started. And what, what high school you went to? Columbia. You know, me, yo, just, I'm, I ain't going to do all that. Just go to Wikipedia, type in Columbia High School, Decatur, Georgia, see who went to, see who went to, see what they putting in the water. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Chris Tucker, all kind of motherfuckers. Oh, yeah. Man. Chris Tucker, Future. Yeah. F- Crazy, bro. <laughs> yes. Olymp- Olympian, Olympic athletes and shit. Man. Yes, like, yes. I went to Reed Ann and uh, Miller Grove <laughs> and whatnot. We got Jagged Edge. Stevenson. Stevenson. Come on, man. Yeah, y'all, y'all nah, I want to read in for sure. Yeah, I'm from okay. the east side. Yeah, here, east side. Yeah. You you east side, side I'm a transplant. Day. I'm from New York. That's cool. <laughs> you still got <laughs> 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 I don't know what y'all. Oh, yeah, I she like, like, what are they talking ass. about? Oh, yeah. <laughs> do people from New York come down here and complain about traffic like how we do? Um, I complain about traffic, yes. <laughs> I don't know. Because y'all got dri- to drive in it. New York, you can just hop on the. I don't even know what they call it, the L train. But you know, she's no. she from Syracuse. Yeah, I'm right? not from New York City. I'm from upstate New York. Right. That's yeah, so that's different. different. See, it's that's so not many different. different. That's so not many New York. That's the real New York. <laughs> it's so many different. They be like, New York's different from New York, NYC, and then like mm-hmm. upstate. And yeah, what, 
It's it's they try to act like that's how Decatur and Atlanta is, but yeah. it really ain't. Decatur ain't nothing but four minutes away from Atlanta. Right. <laughs> you could be on uh, on uh, flat shows and, and uh, Gresham Road, yes. and then you go two exits up, four yep. minutes away, you in, little, the, in the city. You little mm-hmm. five points or some shit like that. Yeah. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Exactly. EAV. Yep. East Atlanta Village, that Come whole on, area. Yeah. Hey, so d- d- doubling back, what you gonna be teaching? You, what, what school you gonna be at? Um, <laughs> nah, I'm a. It's my own. It's my own academy. Oh, mm. yeah. I'm. I'm. Hey, nigga, how much money you got? Yo, Nah, it's like. Well, I mean, right now I'm just doing it online right now. Okay. Cause I, you know, I just, I just want to see. Like, I really started. Like officially, like uh, at the A3C festival. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I did like two. I did one class where it was just me, and then one where we had Cato and Lamont Graves come in and speak. Mm-hmm. And the turnout, I was like, damn, like niggas really can't showed up. Like from from other states and shit, like outside the city. I was bro, like, damn, you B O B man, you you Bobby Ray. I you, mean, you but you know, difference. as an artist, you don't know like when you're doing something other than rapping. That's true. You don't know who's gonna yeah. show up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like you don't know, you know, always uh if it's gonna be there. If you're making an impact and a difference, and you know, I I am pretty sure you've been surprised on many different occasions that okay. hey, they 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 love you. Yeah, I mean, I think I think this it's like a I think it's like a Condi- a condition, I don't know, that like, what do you call it? A disposition that artists have um, when you really can't see yourself, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. it's a lot of, I know my publicist always be telling me like, man, like all y'all be so, be hard on y'all selves, man. Like you don't feel like yeah. nobody appreciates you or nobody like you, but it's like you can't really see it, you know what I'm saying? And so it was surprising seeing people come out I'm like, y'all don't listen to what I got to say. <laughs> well, shit, let me tell you something. <laughs> <laughs> and I feel like they, I feel like the artists now are, I feel like the artists now are um, more, I don't know, like, I just remember when I was coming up and we were doing, like, open mics and shit like that, um, a lot of the up-and-coming artists, like, didn't really, like, it wasn't like, it wasn't normal to have all your shit together. Now, you expect you, you better have your socials, all your handles, mm-hmm. your uh, link tree, Shopify, your numbers, your, num- your analytics. Man, they be having all that shit out the gate. Mm-hmm. And really, you really can't just jump in. Like you, and that's why I be teaching in my class, like what you need to have, because some people don't know how to finish a job application in the music biz. Mm. Because just having a song does not mean you're ready to be an artist. Because just having a song is like having a movie with just the soundtrack. Damn. Okay. I did shit. What, what are all the boxes you got to check off? <laughs> I mean, I go in the. I really, I really, yo, like, I really. Um, because like I mean you gotta think about it, right? Like if you wanna be a if you wanna be a a doctor, a lawyer, a police officer, a sex worker, anything, mm-hmm. they got all type of all type of It's a planned uh, route. Yeah. You know like, how to get there. Steps. A curriculum. Yeah, yeah a curriculum got checked. It's, it's sure you know where to go. Yeah, yeah but with, with rap, it'd be like, yo, you don't know what. Mm-hmm. And and <laughs> and like I feel like you just gotta watch and see. But it'd be a lot of stuff you don't, you know, you don't know what's really, what's really the intention behind it. And as an artist, you may think, I, right, I need to go out here and, like for example, if you are artists that make music like, you make, let's say you make music like Childish Gambino, and but you a fan of the baby, and you see the baby. Pop off, and you like, oh shit! I gotta beat some ass. I gotta, I gotta shoot somebody. You know what I'm saying? You may be thinking like, that's where I go. But it's like, no, no, no. That's not. Yeah. That ain't. The I rap. shot somebody for nothing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 he was like, damn. Maybe I shouldn't. Have yeah. Committed Should've aggravated assault. Yeah. But, um, but like, yeah. I mean, that's that. That's that's really what it is, man. It's like I don't. 
I don't feel like um I don't feel like I know what like I my whole point is look just take what I'm what I'm teaching you and then just make it make it your own thing you know what I'm saying because um every artist is different every artist creates the same and I feel like just if you really if you really are serious about and passionate about creating your shit, then you'll be you'll automatically do it. Because even when I was coming up as an artist, I ain't figure everything out. Like I remember, I, my music would sound so uh, alternative, but I'd just be wearing like some regular like LRG, mm. stuff. wearing white tees still and shit. Wearing, you know, what I'm saying like it just. You were very humble. Yeah, I mean, I, but see, like I was, I was like in protest to all that shit. Also at the same mm. time. Like, what do you mean? Like I was, no labels. I was yeah, like I was like really on some like I ain't trying, I ain't trying, I ain't trying to do no fashion shit, man. Like all these liquor companies and and clothing lines got our community down, man, holding us down. Like you know, so I was always protesting that shit. I remember when I had, uh, I remember I was doing this show in in New York. The the what's it called the jingle ball the jingle jam jingle jam jingle <laughs> jingle balls <laughs> jingle the, ball j- jam. the jingle jam ball I don't know it man it was a jingle jam thing. it was what all the pop all the pop celebrities everybody with a pop a popping pop song they would get them to come out perform and so it was like like Katy Perry me Haley Williams like Bruno Mars like you know all the 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 2010s. What do you call that? The tens? What are we calling that? The, 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 ten, the, the ten, ten millennials. It's, it's, it's so ten millennials. Long. It's just so. Everybody got cool like the twenties. Niggas born the Y two K. They got the twenties and then the two thousand ten. That just it don't have a good ring. To it, it. It's, it's, it, no, it don't. I don't, I don't even know what the, what the place is. Twenty tens. Twenty tens. Twenty tens. I like that. I don't like it. Y'all don't like y'all it. don't have to like it because y'all was born in. Yeah, they were born in 2010. <laughs> yeah, like I'm, almost, <laughs> I'm almost 40. For real? Mm-hmm. Dang. Wait a minute. Good genes. <laughs> so I'm, I'm curious. Your dad being a preacher and you being locked in like that. Do you think your discernment is kind of what was the catalyst for you being such, um, a, not a protagonist, a, antagonist against the industry, but like, do you <laughs> think that your <laughs> spiritual background had anything to do with your disposition? I, I mean, I definitely feel like, I absolutely feel like whatever era you're in, when you conceive a child, you pass that on to, to the child. Mm-hmm. And I definitely, as soon as I, as soon as I stepped out the womb, I was like, damn, somebody needs to do something about things. TTG. <laughs> 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 I'm talking about from the giddy up. <laughs> I was like, man. And so, like, I, you know, I, I gravitated to rappers like DMX. And I was like, DMX for, like, I don't know. I just, I don't know, just the angst and the aggression. I just, I don't know. It's just something about it. And then I mean, he'll do skits on his album. He'll be like, he's saying a prayer. It just kind of related to me a little bit, you know what mm-hmm. I mean? It's like, and then, and then Eminem because the emo shit. When I was in middle school, Truth I was like is. straight Eminem. Yeah, mm-hmm. um, Nas, I like Nas. Um, of course, Outkast. And then when I got older, I started getting, I started appreciating like all the crunk music because it was like you because I'm in the, you know, like we in the middle. I mean, I don't know if anybody. In the same, I don't know how close we are, but you know, when you, you know, one. Okay. I mean, but you know, you in the middle. It's yeah. like you you grew up. Am I in the middle? To all the to listening to boom baps. Okay. I mean, I think we in the middle. Okay. Oh, you forty one too. In between, like boom bap. Nah, I ain't that old, but <laughs> I'm not that young. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> no offense. DJ T Rex. Hey, you know what time it is, right? Man in Street Heat Time with DJ Wizard Craig. Check, check. What's going on, y'all? It's your main man, Wizard Craig, on the twos and ones just for fun, a.k.a. DJ I Am Somebody, here to give you the heat in the street, that street heat. 
First, we're going to start off with Young Baby Tate. She dropped off a song called Jersey. Got all the Jersey clubs bopping, jumping, dancing, you know, going down in a special way. Make sure y'all go and check that out. My man Jose Guapo came out with an album called Flawless, heating up the streets. Make sure all y'all go check that out, representing Atlanta. My main man Nick Grant came through and dropped off an album too called Sunday Dinner. Remember when Nick Grant used to come to the AUC, drop off all his tapes, and got us all hip. So make sure y'all all get hip to that. You know what I'm saying? My man Killer Mike, he came out with the deluxe version to the album Michael with some extra tracks. So if you didn't hear it the first time, make sure you run back and go and listen to that. And for our throwback, we're going to give it to my main mans, the Migos, with No Label One, the mixtape that started it all with the track Bando. Rest in peace, my man, take off, man. And that's the heat in the street. Aww. I think. <laughs> I just feel like when you're in the middle of boom bap and like trap music, you can appreciate mm -hmm. both sides. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And it's like, I was like, do I got to pick? Because like, you'll be. Like you'll be talking to people and they'll be like, yeah, man, this old trap shit, these young niggas doing these dumb ass dances. And I'll be like, damn, man, I kind of like kinda it a little like bit. It. I kind of like, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, ah. Like, <laughs> that shit that pretty cool, cool at the pool palace. <laughs> <laughs> what? Pool palace? <laughs> yeah. That shit is an aesthetic mm -hmm. now. Push it forward. Mm -hmm. Push it. That's what I, yo, that's what I like. That shit is coming back. Mm -hmm. Whoop Rico, whoop Rudy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, that was yeah. definitely that. Yeah, yeah. Yo, that's your era, man. <laughs> like a motherfucker. Yeah. Yo, you know what's funny? I'm gonna tell y'all some funny shit. <laughs> what's that? Them niggas went to my high school. Wow. And the Whoop Rico niggas. <laughs> yeah. The Whoop Rico niggas went to my high school. Okay. And what's funny is the first talent show I did. The first and only talent show I did at Columbia. You I only got did booed. one fucking talent show, ain't? Right? Yeah, I got booed. Wow. At the time, so the song was trash though. The performance was trash. The song was trash, <laughs> and like <laughs> you could admit that. That's why. I remember. <laughs> I mean, you know. So you didn't. You didn't, you wasn't the type of like nigga that was like in denial, saying, "Man, these niggas don't know shit." <laughs> man, fuck this shit. Ah, <laughs> uh, man, it was just it was bad. We got dancers. The dancers didn't show up. Um, then then one of them came in late, ran in and no. stepped on my mic cord, pulled the mic cord out. Oh. The crowd started booing, sweep, and then. Sammy. <laughs> One of them niggas was in the band. The nigga <laughs> who did the Rico yeah. dance, he was in the band. So sweet. <laughs> <laughs> sweet. Hey, hey, I bet that was trans. I bet that was trans. Bet... Hey, he played the symbols. I know all the symbols. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah sure, hilarious, bro. That's funny. Yeah, that was funny. That's dope that you can look back on that and laugh. I was telling everybody earlier about how I used to get booed for about three, four years uh, doing comedy and yeah. shit. And yo, con yo, that's that's a. Uh, it's hard. Woo. Yes. I don't see how, yo, I'm, that shit um, amazes me. You got to make how. niggas that don't even fucking know you laugh. Yeah. It ain't like talking, telling jokes with your friends at Applebee's. <laughs> <laughs> when niggas it. already like you. Like, yeah, it's like niggas that be like, you you guilty to approve an innocent. Basically. Bruh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bruh. It's nigga, big, big Meech in the audience. G's in or T.I. in the audience and shit before he, he T.I. booing a nigga and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Who knew that he knew what he was talking about the whole time? <laughs> <laughs> Never saw that coming. You ever Why don't you like get up here and do it then, nigga? If you, don't <laughs> you ever feel like it's too many celebrities in the audience and you can't really roast nobody like that? Y y mm. Yes. It, it yeah. definitely was like Whitney and Bobby was in the fucking audience. Damn, but we heckling niggas and shit. Yeah, that's how old I am. Damn, I was yes. on uh, Ludacris when he was Chris Lover Lover was hosting the comedy <laughs> Chris show. Chris Lover Lover and Pooh Daddy. Yeah, Daddy. <laughs> Yo, I be trying to stop doing shit like that when I'm out in public. Be singing old shit. <laughs> like, <laughs> wow. just, we officially just at that Just giving away my age. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 wow, that's it. Yo, those, those were some good times in Atlanta. Those were the golden times. Yo, Atlanta is, I was just talking about this with um with DJ Cash. We was talking about how like Atlanta to certain people, it's like a it's like a it's like a museum to certain people. But to us, like we like we were here when it happened. And so like everybody that's coming now is like, cause they heard about what happened, mm. and it's a completely different thing Atlanta. now. Yeah. 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 And so it's like I call this a little baby Atlanta. Little baby, little little, little baby Atlanta. Little baby Atlanta. <laughs> <laughs> little baby Atlanta. Yes, yeah, Atlanta, Atlanta, Atlanta. two point oh. Yes, yeah, yeah. It's but a it's, different Atlanta. It's still, but it's still, and like you got to think about it like because we live here, but like it's a trap museum here. 
Yeah. 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 Like, it's a real tourist attraction. Yeah. That's wild to me. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I haven't gotten over it either. I mean, I think I'm still, I think I'm still in denial a little bit. Like, yeah. I intentionally haven't went there yet just because of that. <laughs> I'm not ready. What other type of museum? Can we have a strip club? They got a, a, strip um, club a new uh, hip hop mm-hmm. Hall of Fame that's coming. Oh, yeah, because it's 50 year anniversary. They had that Tupac Museum, but it didn't last. Where? Here? Yeah, yeah it was remember on Memorial Street? Drive? Oh, Memorial, yeah. Oh, yeah. By the um, um, Patriot. Uh, yeah. uh, Afeni, uh, yeah. hold on, that shit, it's closed? I think it's closed. Now, Damn. once she died, all that stuff got. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. oh. Yeah, I do. And it turned into an Ethiopian restaurant. I do remember that. Oh, okay. Why the East Side got the best Jamaican food though? Right. Because what's your favorite spot on the East Side for Jamaican food? Juicy Jerk. Okay. Oh. Red it, Jerk Jamaican on Rock Ridge. Red Jerk. Red Jerk. Hold on. They, hold on. They, they they barbecuing it though, right? Yes. Okay. I was mm-hmm. about to say that it's not jerk chicken if it's in the, coming out the stove mm-hmm. now. Yo, you know what the real the real authentic? I don't know if I'm giving away no secrets, but. Please. They get something. the actual, the berry that they make the jerk seasoning out of. I can't remember what the berry's called. I never knew it was a berry. It's it's like a berry, but the the tree that it, that it come off of. Uh, they they get the wood from the tree and and put that in the in the fire pit and cook the chicken with Ooh. the damn wood from the tree from the jerk tree. <laughs> the cherry, Ooh. cherry, cherry chips. Uh, them cherry chip, them them jerk chips. Yeah, man, they get, they get that jerk wood. Yeah, yeah. I gotta know what it's called. I can't that, be calling it jerk wood. Somebody, somebody. Awkward. What is this called, man? <laughs> sure, you gotta Google that for us. Yeah, man. What is this called? It's the jerk. What jerk seasoning? What is scotch bonnet peppers? No. What is come on? All y'all niggas being jerk all this time. Pimento, yes. Okay. Pimento. I knew it. Yeah, there yeah, we go. Yeah, thanks, I thought Shay. it was a cheese. Yeah, they get the pimento wood and the pimento leaves and throw it in the fire, man, and cook up the cook it up. It's crazy. <laughs> Juicy jerk. Okay, I gotta I gotta check that out. Yeah, Which one you out, said? Uh, Red jerk off Rock Bridge Road. Off Rock Bridge. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. I definitely got to check it out. I've been, I've been scouring Atlanta since I've been back for some good jerk chicken. Man, you got to try. Uh... I had some from Willie's Jerk. Y'all heard of Willie Jerk? What? It's a jerk spot by the Mercedes-Benz <laughs> Stadium. <laughs> <laughs> it's in a rich neighborhood. You live in. Oh, you jerk. live on the bougie side now? I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> My bad, because I mean. <laughs> you <out> like that. <laughs> You know, you know how you stay in some ghetto shit in a nice area. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> oh, that's yeah. my shit right there. <laughs> I yeah. like it. I feel like I feel like I feel like I feel like it's an aesthetic now. I don't even feel like mm-hmm. it's like a success thing. Mm-hmm. I feel like some people really do like living in the ghetto, and some people like living in the bougie. No, I really don't. It's just too many. Like I was the <laughs> only nigga in my neighborhood, and then somebody found out I was there. And next thing you know, it was two of us, and I was like, "Hey, man, stay in the house, so niggas don't see you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, because you gonna attract more niggas." And she, like, don't do that. And then it was a girl head movie. I'm like, "Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> this bitch." Uh, that's how it started. Yo, yeah, yeah. Sometimes you want too much of the same thing. Mm, in one yeah, place. yeah. In one spot. <laughs> no, I thought they were never gonna find me there. Like thrifting. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like when you go find a thrift store, you don't want all the niggas finding out about your your mm-hmm. your spot. But then it's like some place you go, if it ain't no niggas there, you be like, it's time to go. <laughs> <laughs> right. We gotta bounce. Word. Word. So out of all the things that you're saying that you're doing now, I didn't hear music. Is that not a thing for you anymore? Um dang. That is true. You didn't say it. I don't know why I didn't say it. You didn't say it. That so went right over my it. head, too, like a motherfucker. Yeah, I didn't peep that. I didn't say that. I guess I am. I mean, I am. But I don't know. It's like I am making music, but I just feel like that's like so expected. I feel like it's so, I feel like it's, I feel like it'd be boring for me to say I do music. And you know how somebody be like, <laughs> So I'm like, hey, yo, man, I'm an artist, man. I talk about that in my class, too, how you, the best way to, like. Present yourself? Yes. Okay. But you know a lot of people are like, yeah, man, I'm an artist, man. I got it. It's like you expect to hear that in Atlanta or, like, somewhere 
where it's an industry event. So I just been kind of like on some. I'm a I'm gonna show you that I make music like on your screen. Like you're gonna see my song or my video on your screen, but not like for me. I don't know. So I, I sometimes people I already really like, know you though. Like we know you for the music. I know it's like self promoting sometimes. It's kind of it's kind of mm. not draining, but like I don't know. It's like you know when you like walk up to a girl at a at a bar and you try to like get her number and it's like he's been running the same lines from. Excuse since, me. Since can Street I see, can I use your phone? <laughs> 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 Yo, that's <laughs> Yo, that's what I had. I had pagers. Scott Till. Scott Till. She actually hand you that shit like, damn, that shit worked. <laughs> <laughs> he remember called me real quick. Remember the two-way? The two-way you stuck? Uh, mm -hmm. Yep. The, the chirping and all that shit. Man. Yeah. And that was back up. I had that. I remember getting my, my cell phone. My my first bill was about like eight hundred dollars. <laughs> Man, I think I had uh, thirty five anytime minutes. <laughs> Cause I could use them thirty five minutes anytime. Thirty five. That was wild. How they did yes. this? Yeah, they, they fucked me over. That was wild. The anytime bro. threw me off. That was a great era. <laughs> it was. I mean, I guess it Singular. killed. I mean, just think about it, bro. Like you had to like, you had to like, just. You had to just, you Effort. know what I'm saying, just with a thumb and then get a a picture and then you had to hit download on it. Yep. And like, yep. you know what I'm saying? That's yeah. crazy. You had to really work for some action. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Really hey, it's funny. It's crazy that you say that because I used to meet girls off the chat line. Mm. And so, you know, being that you couldn't, um, like, I, we, I'm talking on a regular rotary phone. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, hey, so won't, won't you mail me a picture of you? Oh. <laughs> No. I see her about three, four days later, a picture of her <laughs> like, God, oh, this bitch trying to catch fish. I ain't finna, I'm not finna get on the martyr to go see you. <laughs> no, I had to catch my four buses to see you. I, I, got, I got caught up one day. I got all the way over to this chick house. And I mean, she was so raggedy. I still hit it because I had came like no well, house. To see it was came too far. <laughs> and she was on a period. It was disgusting. Oh, oh my God. God. Thriller. You I never be the same again. I was 15. That was, when you 15, you fuck anything Ooh. when you 15, man. You tripping. Savage. Yeah, man. You tripping. Yeah. I was macho man Randy Savage. <laughs> Coming off the top rope, all that. Off the top rope with Off the top it. rope in some of the raggediest motherfuckers Ooh. you would see. <laughs> Yo, I met a midget at the CNN Center at the movie theater. She got me, bro. I went through it watching the goddamn movie. We saw the best man together. I was the worst man inside that one. It's like, it titty down right here. She, oh, my God. Her whole body was right in here. This was her leg. <laughs> It was so, Yo, so stupid. Like, what, so what, what was it? What was that like? Did you feel like it was like goofy sex, or was it? It like... was super goofy. <laughs> <laughs> it was so goofy, man. And and I, you I, know, a lot of dudes got like a. a I don't even. We don't all know. got them stupid stories. We, we well, all, I mean, fantasy like yeah. everybody hasn't been with a little person. Before. I didn't want to. I didn't want to. I didn't, but I didn't want to you hurt her feelings. You. So she was pushing up on you. We were already. We, she was already there because <laughs> I, I, I was too nice. I was too. I just went on and did the shit because oh, I had already got there. She, we had then created a report together for the last three days on the yes, phone. Report. And what, so I felt obligated to go on here and pay for the movie and shit. And plus, I wanted to see the best man too. <laughs> <laughs> you know. And then we got in there, and I was like, I might as well suck this girl titties and stuff. Oh my god. Then one thing led to another. And went too far. Man, yeah, fifteen year old shit, you man. I'll tell you. Damn, I mean, you, you did a you, lot at fifteen. That's did, what I'm oh, saying. Like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> the it gets adventure. Worse. <laughs> it it gets Lord. worse. I maxed out my Atlanta experience. I got freak Nick stories. All of that. Man, That's I wish nuts. I was older. It'll never be like that again. No, it won't. Never. Nah. Yeah. The closest thing we had to freak Nick was probably like Glenwood Day or something like that. <laughs> 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 Them Jones was lit. Man, Glenwood Day was a wild 
<laughs> that was some wild shit. Dangerous. Yeah, I was just that thinking. Was I was just thinking coming. that. I was like, hold on, that shit was dangerous. Everybody, man, I used to see kind of girls used by the uh, twerking on top of the cars. Pistols and... out, everybody. But, yeah, but, was, but you were still safe in a crazy yeah. way. Yeah. yeah, ain't nobody get shot. Yeah. Everybody went home at the end of the night. Yeah, because yeah. people that wasn't people Where from that side of town. Well, the people from that side of town didn't come over there. They was at Ben Hill Day on their side of town and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Ben Hill Day. We went to scores after. Guys. Yo, when is it coming? Somebody's doing it. The documentary. Well, yeah, mm-hmm. Jermaine Dupree was supposed to put that out. I'm wait, not waiting for it. But and it's on Hulu now. When Hulu doing the a freaking documentary? documentary. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Really? We I want to know what they got. They better do it right. Yeah. I don't. I don't. I think that's gonna be kind of impossible. <laughs> <laughs> Why? I can't imagine the freak Nick being done right with the things that I I I witnessed as a little boy. They're gonna have to put it on HBO. They're yeah, gonna put it on Tubi. Right. Yeah. Put it on Tubi. At night. <laughs> Tubi? Tubi. Yes, yes. Yo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it wasn't, it, girls ain't have no landing strips there. Uh, oh no my God. landing strips. It was just all bushes. Yeah. That, that's how it was back then? Oh, it, it was nuts. I mean, I wasn't, you know, I wasn't. It's afroed out back then. <laughs> it was very. Yeah. That's back when so, pussy smelled like pussy, pussy. man. I got 16, <laughs> at least 16 to 18 shoe boxes of pictures and VHS. Yeah, shoe <laughs> bunch of Polaroids and all that shit. Bro. Wow. Bushes. Bro. Ooh. Yeah. You see what? I used to think that was sexy, too. That shit is not nah, sexy. Like, <laughs> you can't even see it. <laughs> <laughs> you can't even see it. Like, this is a pussy. I can't even see <laughs> it. This is like pussy, man. <laughs> And that was back when pussy smelled like pussy, pussy and, and, pussy. and it tasted like pussy piss pussy. back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> this is pussy. Ew. That was straight yeah. farm to table pussy right there. Yeah. Was, I'm talking about nappy, <laughs> super nappy in your throat, <laughs> ma'am. Then what happened? Why why did why did everybody just go naked? What happened with that? I don't know. What when happened? whenever I think that's when you know the the, the whole um. Girl on girl thing started, or when, when maybe it was Jersey Girls Shore. Going wild. Um, it girls was, it going was, wild. Girls yeah, going wild. Yeah, yeah. When, when people saw the white girls was because the white girls been on it. <laughs> white girls was been on it and everything, white and then when black girls saw that the white girls was doing that, then they start shaving a little bit. Then you'll see like a little fuzziness on it. You know, like it was kind of like a little landing strip. Then it, it developed into that landing strip. Yeah. <laughs> it's an ombre page. Yeah, it had a little shadow on there. Afternoon the shadow. After- but it <laughs> still, had, still had the little hair in on the, the, in the inner thigh. That, But yeah, that was about the you wow. evolution of shade. Oh, yeah, 100%. I was there for it all. <laughs> he saw it all. I used to walk around with my fingers stinking. Yeah. Oh my God! Ooh. Yeah, I was that's that guy. I'm, menace. I, I'm the guy. That, we, that's what we did. Like at the teen club, we dancing with a girl. You fingering on the dance floor, y'all. Y'all didn't do that. No, mm-hmm. yeah, man. No, okay. Man, you lived it up, man. Yeah, I did. Mm-hmm. Remember that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it could only be two. If it was any more, or any less, it yeah. didn't count. It yeah. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 If it was more. You, oh, you, what? You ain't never put a whole hand in it before? Man, you all did. What? <laughs> <laughs> no, this was back when people were running trains. That's what I'm saying. Uh, it was a badass little kid. Whole, <laughs> yeah, you fit your whole A whole scoop. Y'all had your whole hand. Yes. I ain't, I ain't you had to switch hand. to the booty hole. I'm here waving and shit. You had to switch. Like, like this, how, this how many, too loose. I'm, I'm going to the booty hole. How many years? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. When did when did hand sanitizer really become popular? <laughs> uh, after Katrina. Not then. After Katrina. After Katrina. Okay. okay. Yeah. Right. So For up real. until then, we. Yeah. Yeah. We yeah. just hand just heated up. Just, oh my god! <laughs> like you had just on the oven mitt walking around, just hot, just hot in the hands. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's on fire! <laughs> word, word. Hey, no, you. I remember, uh, like I said, moving up to New York and everything. You know, I, I uh, two months into it, um, you and B Rich and uh, your whole clique. Uh, came we, we was um, me and Cypher Sounds. We 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 got with y'all and we went to the club. You performed and I was like, man, this nigga them blew the fuck up in New up. York. Yes. Damn, where was we at? Now, then we went to Jersey and um, before, it was we went to like two spots in one night and everything. And then you was just doing your thing. Now, when did you realize, yo, I'm on? <laughs> yo, I'm, I'm on. be honest with y'all. <clears throat> 
Y'all probably not gonna believe me. Yes, we will. <laughs> like, all right. Well, well, let me. What do you? What do you define as on? I don't know. I have never been on. I've been okay, off wait. the whole time. I mean, bro, you got, you got your own show, man. I got, got my own show. I've been on Wild and Out and all this other stuff. You a gospel sex symbol, bro? Gospel Come sex on, symbol. man. Like, you got shit going on. You know, man. we worked on the comedy album, so I'm, yeah. I, I guess for, for me, yeah, I would have to say when I was on Wild and Out or, you know, <laughs> when I went on tour with Martin, right. that was, you know, the, the pinnacle of my. Uh, a lot of people can't say that, man. No, it's a lot. Yeah, a lot of people can't say it. But then a lot of people can't say it. they got songs with Bruno Mars and a goddamn uh, Andre from Outcast either. Andre from Outcast, Morgan Freeman, Nicki Minaj, Taylor Swift. Wheezy. <laughs> <laughs> Lil Wheezy F Baby. Come on, bro. Uh, you grew up on them folks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. And they I, became your <clears throat> friends. And yeah. Man, I think. I, Didn't you have a song with Eminem? Yeah. Bro, you had a Eminem. song with Eminem. Wale, Big Sean, uh, T Pain, uh, Bootsy. You grew up on these people. Um, I'm trying to think who else. I, I used to just be like running out of this bop, 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 bop. But I mean, the thing is, the thing is, right, like, I would always know that, like, okay, I can. I can always lean. I can always lean on this or fall back on this, or I can not fall back on this like something other than music. I just mean like, all right, I still got these hit records or these records that people know, or I still got fans in this city or this city, so I can always do that. But my sights are setting on are set on something bigger. So that's always how I looked at things, and so I would never just stop and just be like, "Yo, nigga, like you used to work at Subway." Next door to the record store, and go buy Ti's albums, and now you working with Ti, and you know on on stage he bringing you out on stage. You know what I'm saying? And I just you know it's it's something where it's like you really have to get far the further away from it you get the more you can see it mm -hmm. because when you in it, I remember. Like my my friends at the time, people that I work with in the studio, would be like, man, like, you used to like, you know, they telling me now in hindsight, like, yo, man, I used to be worried about you because you would just like be like, never, you would never be satisfied. Like you would just always be like, man, I'm not there yet. I'm not there yet. I'm not there yet. I gotta get bigger. I gotta get a bigger song. I gotta get a bigger, you know what I mean? And it's like, <clears throat> I ain't realizing like, bro, like you 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 touring the world. Like you, I'm performing in countries I don't even know the name of. It's it stamps in my passport. I don't even know how to get there. Like, I don't even know how to <laughs> pronounce it or where I was at. I know I was beside Russia. I wasn't in Russia. And then it's, it's wild, too, because I was in this country called Latvia, and niggas is out, niggas is in the crowd holding up Decatur, Georgia signs, like, mm. holding up Decatur signs. And, and I'm like, man, like, that's wild. And it's like, and that's what I'm saying. Like, when I was talking about there being a trap museum here, like, we don't realize, like, we're in, we're in a, we're in a era like people gonna be talking about this shit like, mm -hmm. like how we be, was reading on the, uh, the the civil rights movement or the Jim Crow stuff. Montgomery bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we are in the era, bro. Cause like the like in other countries, they be like, they study shit that we think is just nigga shit. Like like stuff that we think is just like, you know, you know, Atlanta hookah, hot wings, strip clubs, culture, culture. Like these people are studying this shit, and this and it's an aesthetic to them, and they are dressing, dressing like us, acting like us, like like how a nigga would imitate some Picasso or some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? And like I've been all these places, man, and it's like you just don't realize it when you're doing it, man. It's like that's that's kind of how it is, man. It's like the, the game is like that. It's like when when you pop off, the industry really just hit your ass with a bag and just send you running. Get out there and make some of yourself, and you just be going, bro, going, 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 going. Kind of like, kind of like how um. It's like when you you know you when you join the military, they like wake you up early in the morning, like yes. six o'clock. Yeah. Or or you go to school or you're in the prison. It's like that when you when you do that over and over, like it conditions you to 
to do whatever it is that you're doing, whether you're a firefighter or or an artist. And so when you when all this is happening, man, it's like you don't realize like you're being transformed. Like I'm I was being transformed. I was changing. I was performing all over the world, getting used to. And it's so crazy because like I I I wanted to become an artist so that I didn't have to like do corporate America and wake up early in the morning and catch the bus. And that's exactly what the fuck I ended up doing. <laughs> Little did you know, mm. there's a lot more time to be like on your own. Yeah. I, I meant effort. Yeah, that, that, that gap between high school and college, I didn't do that part I didn't do. So like from 17 to like 26, I feel like I was just, I was just, I was just a workhorse. And then I got older. I was like, wait a minute. Like, <clears throat> I, you know, I would look around. I'd be like, dang, so y'all, y'all, y'all was doing that in college? They were like, yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm like, I ain't getting into certain shit till I was like 26. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Drugs. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> 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 but like people was already burnt out on shit mm-hmm. that was doing in high school. And I ain't even really, I'm, I was late to certain shit. See, I was early to, to that but late to other things. But that's a good thing though, because that's one of the reasons why you probably so far ahead of a lot of those folks. If you think about it, you know, I look at a lot of the people I went to school with, like we said, oh, and yeah. them folks be burnt out yeah. and, and yeah. looking bad. I mean, I seen we, uh, a, a Jay, and it was one of my younger classmen, but mm. he looked like an older man on the side of Wesley Chapel. Does. I'm like, what the hell done happened to this kid? But he all sprung out, you know, a lot of folks, man, they be burnt out, but hey, you took the better path, Yo, moved real. how you need to move, For real. and now you look at your picture and your future and your present and your past compared to theirs. I'm taking the B.O.B. Bobby Way route every day. One of the things you said in one of your previous interviews was that you wish you would have been more prepared for stepping into that limelight. How, how would you have better prepared if you could for your success? Um, <clears throat> you know... At the time, it was like, who could have prepared unless you would have just talked to like, who would, who would do that? I mean, I guess like maybe like Bobby Brown or like Michael Jackson or who, who before our time was like, I guess a black artist that was like traveling the world, performing with people with a band, with instruments mm-hmm. and shit on stage. Like it just wasn't really. I mean, I guess like, I guess Outkast is the closest thing because Outkast definitely. Yeah, because I mean, even though they weren't playing instruments, I mean, it's they still represented mm-hmm. all of that because yeah. they had live instruments mm-hmm. in the in all the songs and <clears throat> and so, I mean, I was doing I was doing shows where it was like me and Usher was the only black people, me and Ayaz. You remember I had Shawty mm-hmm. like a Billy? Mm-hmm. Is that the song? In yeah, my head that I yeah. can't get up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like it was like me and him. And then it was some place where I was just the only nigga. I remember mm-hmm. I did the, the Asian Grammys. I can't remember what it's called. The Asian Grammys. I was literally oh, like the scary. only black person. <laughs> um yo, that shit felt that shit felt weird. Like just being the only I was like, I man. can't even imagine that. Yeah. And that's also some something I teach in my class is the difference between rap and melodies. Mm. Because even though everybody don't speak English, melodies are universal. But raps are not. Mm. Just just free game. Okay. Just a little spring. Just, just so I know what you're saying, so I don't think something is a melody that's not. <laughs> What's an example of a melody? Can we pretend that here, please? <laughs> that That got me over there. That, <clears throat> nothing on you. Um, but they like certain reps do cross over, and now it's a lot different because, like, I know y'all seen this year, Meg the Stallion was performing in Japan. Yeah, I saw that. And it was it wasn't always like that. Like it was it was only pop music, and then like I know from the east side, a lot of us will go to Germany, so like the military bases and stuff. Like I know Crime Mob went over there. I, I was going over there. Waka was going over there. Like way, like 07. Germany love us. 
Yeah, man, Germany, state, UK, like this. How you know they got a different appreciation. <laughs> they they have a different appreciation, mm -hmm. and this that's how you know when your shit is starting to go out, go across the pond. What's a different appreciation? What do you mean when you say that? Like, <clears throat> are you saying that they they're fainting when you? Yeah, like, yeah. okay, so like, okay, this this what it is. Oh yeah, man! I gotta tell y'all this story. If you don't mind, dang, I don't know about <laughs> Man, okay. Well, let me let me answer that first question first. Okay. <laughs> Make like, sure he remembers this shit. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, like in like here we do shit like for clout and the flex. Even if you ain't like a flexy cloudy motherfucker, like you still. Okay. You still gonna do your, you know, when it's your birthday or something, or it's a, it's a benchmark achievement, lifetime achievement. You gonna, you gonna, you gonna pop flex a little bit. You gonna put that shit on. Yeah. And so like, <clears throat> so like when 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 I was popping with with haters on like the Chitlin circuit, and they booked me to come over to uh, the UK or to Germany. In your head, you think, "Oh yeah, I'm popping." So, I mean, which, which obviously, yes, you are popping. But like, they're not looking at it from the clout. They're looking at it from like the music, the artistry. Like, they're like, "Oh shit, this art." Like, they want, they collect vinyl, and you know what I'm saying. Like, <clears throat> they want autographed posters and shit. Like, but with us here, you know, we just, we just want flex <laughs> one time, real good. <laughs> but true, flex real good one time, but. I mean, the UK, bro, they really appreciate art. Like, they really like music. Like, you ain't got to be like, you ain't got to, it don't really matter your, uh, I guess like in the industry, some people are personas and some people are musicians. Mm -hmm. And so they kind of like appreciate both because it, it both it's an art form to both of it. You know what I mean? And so <clears throat> So look, this is what happened in Germany. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a quick story, nothing too crazy. I just it just you made me remember it. <clears throat> I was over there, we was over there for days, man. Like we have nothing to do. And we was in the we were staying in the middle of nowhere, the AC ain't working. Like seeing some German companies, they don't uh, countries not German countries in some European countries they don't have like AC because it always be so cold, so they only got heat. So it was really hot, and there wasn't no AC, and we in the middle of nowhere, and it ain't nothing to do but walk down the street, and it was a fucking dark competition. <clears throat> it was like fuck it, let's go in there and just get some beers, and then I link up with this girl. I meet this girl, she's like, I'm not really sure if she was like African with a German accent speaking English or if she was German speaking English with an African accent. That's mind bending, mind bending. So you don't know the difference between a German accent and African accent. That's all you're saying. What you're saying. Well, it was like broken English, but like it was. <laughs> It's like, it's like the whole package, Jim. The package went packaging. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I had quite a few. I couldn't, in my memory, it was like, oh, B.O.B. Superstar. I can't remember. But anyway, What's it so. Doing? I like what it's going. <laughs> so, uh, so we ended up hooking up later and we did the deed. Yes, you did. We uh, fist bumped with our bodies. All right. All right. <laughs> You deserve it. And so the next day was show day. So we um we in a I I, I mean I think I'm assuming we're on base because everybody can speak English. So I uh -huh. guess we're on military base. Sure enough. And so I'm performing, and so I get to the part of my set where I I bring a, a girl on stage. I bring uh -oh. some girls on stage. So I brought <laughs> and like this stage is like a it's like it's like the the front, like the crowd's in front of that, but then behind it, like there's no curtain. It's just, it's just, yeah. It's, uh, it, it ends. It ends. It's like a runway. Yeah. Okay. And so the girl get on stage, 
And I'm like, pull on stage. I'm like, all right, y'all make some noise with da da da. And then, like, running through the crowd is the girl that I hooked up with the night before. <laughs> she running full speed. She hop up on stage and shove that girl <gasps> off the oh stage. And she almost fell off and died. We had, that, we had to grab her so she didn't fall off the stage and die. <laughs> that happened real oh fast. God. Bro, she shoved her. She was trying to kill that girl, bro. Get off my man. <laughs> she said, that's my man. Mommy bro, and mommy and mommy. We were like, yo, I didn't even know she was there. <laughs> that was that, that was that was terrifying, bro. What is so what did you let her uh participate inside of this BOB girl bring on stage part of the show? Nah, we had we just moved past that part of the show. We yeah. were like, all yeah, right, that was enough. <laughs> moving on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <Fatality>. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, bro, that was wild. So did know. that girl try to fight her or she was just like, nah, this bitch is crazy? Nah, they, they, had, they had to break it up. They had yeah. to break it up, but they was like, I mean, mm. I know the whole club had to be thinking like, what did she do? She just got up on stage. Mm. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> like, what's That's going nice. on? But you're yes. the only one that know. Sheesh. <laughs> <laughs> Tough crowd, nah. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, so what is this DJing thing that you were talking about doing? Mm. You DJing now? DJ Bobby Ray? Won't he will? <laughs> Willie <he> won't. <laughs> <laughs> I have a new respect for DJs. I'm going to be real with you. Because some some people may think it's just playing records. It's a, it's a real art form. And then, like, it's crazy because like I used to tell, I got like I got like friends I party with, and I we always hand them the aux cord because they always playing the slaps. But man, I want them to DJ so bad, and then I ended up DJing. It's is crazy. And it's like when you an artist, right? You go into the studio, you make you make a hundred, you make a you make a hundred songs, you make ten songs to make one good song, and then you do that ten times to get a hit. Then you do that 10 times over to get like a smash number one hit. You know what I'm saying? So it's like a process. It's it's really like a a speed, like a gear. Like you start out in first gear. Then once you're in sixth gear, and it's like, all right, now that you're in sixth gear, now you really need to start recording. Cause then now you're really gonna make some bangers. And so um as an artist, you doing that. You making all these songs just to get one good one, a couple good ones, ten good ones, an album worth of good songs. But when you DJing, you going straight into the crate with all the hits, and you can just back to back to back to back to back to back to back. And that shit is amazing because that's what we trying to do as an artist is you trying to give people that feeling. Like, fuck if it's, you know, I would like for it to be me and just my songs. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> And be like, yeah, play my whole discography. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. But like when you a DJ, you could do that with just all the music in the world. And then you then however you want to mix it up. And then you and then now I can I can tell like when it's a real good DJ, like by I mean, really, you don't have to DJ to know a good DJ, but the respect level is there like on a different on a different level because it's like that shit is not as easy as you may think it might be. And not even just the brick, 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 not even all that shit, but like just, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, brick, brick, brick. <laughs> the brick, brick, you know the niggas that be scratching yeah, and spinning yeah, around? Yeah, yeah. Like, like not even that that pristine level. A fade yeah. in and out. Yeah, not mm -hmm. even, but just like it's blending, just blending, mm -hmm. and then like you know, uh, keeping your keeping your hand on the pulse of the crowd and not killing the crowd, cause that shit. Playing some shit you want to play. DJ sets the vibe for real. You yeah. can kill a party. Oh yeah, with DJ, like two songs and like people leave. not feeling you. They be like, nah, we'll leave. <laughs> no, for real. Hey, what's that song you got, man? This this is my favorite Bob song. I said goodbye. I'll be gone for a while. <laughs> Cloud nine. Y'all first seen Yes. He was a kid. I seen him at Atrium. Do it. Wow. <laughs> 17. Cloud nine is the shit. Yes. Goodbye. And hey, T Rex gonna take us out to that. Yo, I, I I was trying to do a uh I was trying to I was fucking around trying to sound like a 
a Jamaican artist when I made this song. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah. I was I was outside smoking and then came back in. I was like, man, let's just let me just make some come on my like <laughs> <laughs> Got I'll be you. gone for a while. It's supposed to be like islandy. <laughs> <Got you. laughs> yeah. Hey, Bill B, man. Yo, check this out, man. Adal, I hope you come back to the show. I thank you for coming again. Y'all give it up man. for him. Appreciate y'all. Is there anything you want to say to New Jack Taylor really City, man, before you get out of here? Because I know you got some more famous shit to do. Man, bro, I want to, apparently I haven't lived life yet, so I'm trying to get on your level and try it all, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, <laughs> get your fingers thing. Yo. Oh, my God. Please. I think you're going to skip that part. Please. Get your fingers thing. Yo, that's <laughs> wild. Yo, that's wild. 100%, man. Yeah, my, I had a pleasure, bro. Wait, wait. Yep. Mm -hmm. There we go. Mm -hmm. Act thriller. Fist bump it. City. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Hey, man, so yeah, man, yo. <laughs> oh, 